Yemen is on the brink of civil war. It's a hotspot for some of the world's most dangerous terrorist groups, and now it's drawing in some of the biggest powers in the region. Political turmoil escalated in 2011. Widespread protests helped oust then-President Ali Abdullah Saleh, who had been in power since the country's formation in 1990. In 2012, the UN brokered a deal to make Abid Rabo Mansour Hadi the new president. His first year in power was a success, but Yemen has since descended into chaos. Most of Yemen's recent instability is linked to the ascendancy of a Shiite militant group known as the Houthis. The North Yemen-based group extended their territorial control to the south last year and took control of the country's capital, Sana'a, in September. President Hadi fled to the city of Aden. Since taking power, the Houthis have been trying to consolidate control over Yemeni provinces. Sunni tribes, forces loyal to President Hadi, and other populations oppose their rule. And remember former President Saleh? Forces loyal to him are supporting the Houthis. And so is Iran. The fear and likelihood of civil war has increased, and terrorist groups such as Al-Qaeda and Islamic State are gaining ground by exploiting sectarian tensions. In late March, ISIS-inspired militants claimed responsibility for five bombings that killed more than 150 people. Yemen is also home to AQAP, which the U.S. considers the world's most dangerous Al-Qaeda offshoot. The rise of the Shiite Houthis has helped Al-Qaeda rally support among Yemen's Sunni majority. President Hadi fled Yemen in late March as the Houthis closed in on Aden. Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Kuwait, Bahrain and Egypt are coordinating military action in Yemen after a request from Hadi. Hadi was a close U.S. ally in the fight against al-Qaeda. These developments could jeopardize efforts to stamp out al-Qaeda and other terrorist networks. The Houthis are enemies of al-Qaeda, but they're also hostile to the U.S. They chant the slogan, God is great, death to America, death to Israel, damnation to the Jews, victory for Islam. Plus, things are now harder for President Obama to make good on his promise to close the prison at Guantanamo Bay. Nearly two-thirds of the remaining 122 prisoners are from Yemen. For Saudi Arabia, Yemen has become another arena for a proxy war with Iran. Shiite-dominated Iran supports the Houthis and has condemned the Saudi airstrikes. From a broader perspective, it adds another nexus of instability in a region already dealing with upheaval in Iraq, Syria and Libya. And for Yemenis, it means growing chaos, for which there's no easy fix.